Seymour, Indiana around 1852. There were reports that they were producing close to 2,000 barrels of flour each day. The Blish Mill was the center of commerce for a small town trying to find its identity. The steam engine that was installed basically ran the entire mill. And as local historian Kevin Green knows, it was a giant flywheel which powered the engine that set Seymour apart. That engine, that one engine would have, have transferred the power through the entire mill and ran anything mechanical in the whole mill. And they also, at the time that they installed it, they put a dynamo into the mill, which would have been cutting edge technology at that time. This wheel made that all possible. It turned time and time again until eventually the mill closed down in the 1970s. Gone but not forgotten, the flywheel stayed in place downtown for decades, commemorating the area's important past. I can remember standing next to it as a kid and thinking how huge it was, which at 12 foot on a, on a pedestal, it just towers over you. Seymour Mayor Matt Nicholson says the wheel was eventually moved and moved again. It landed along US 31 in Reddington under the care of a local tractor club. But when the man who had agreed to display it died, Nicholson wanted to bring the history home. We're putting it back where it belongs and, and it's another resource for people to stop and take a look at here in town. So the 12 foot tall wheel will soon be hoisted on a trailer and transported to Crossroads Community Park, which sits in the shadow of the former Blish Mill. Morgan Lentis. It's a fitting place for it, really. WLKY News.